Hello, everybody. We are today with uh, Mr. Dale Christensen, and he is the chief of global business development of Bay Area Council. So today we are going to talk about the challenges about the communication between China and the United States business leaders. Uh, you feel, you know, in the last ten years, you've been working with China. Mm -hmm. What what is the most difficult thing for the communication? <laughs> Maybe uh, lots of things, but what is the most? <laughs> I think there's an uh, due to the different cultures, mm -hmm. uh, business cultures, and uh, just the the, the customs, uh, uh, personal customs. Uh, t there's an expectation mm -hmm. on both sides mm -hmm. of how a communication would go, how a relationship would go, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that that is is one of the biggest challenges uh, to overcome. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is, as you're, as you're thinking about your own expectations mm -hmm. and how you do business, most of the uh, transactions are done through a translator. Mm -hmm. And so you don't uh, understand mis misconception. Mis <laughs> misconception. And you, it's not always clear, <laughs> at least to me, yes. uh, yeah. how good the translator is yes. and how much they know. understand the subject <laughs> matter. You know, my friend, uh, uh, <coughs> Founder Space, the you know the the CEO uh, uh, Steve uh, Hoffman told me he said, mm -hmm. well I gave a speech uh, to a thousand people and was very passionate and I almost jumping on stage, but translator the interpreter there so calm and talk and I was I was I wasn't sure exactly. he was exactly you know <laughs> telling what I'm talking about <laughs> exactly yes <laughs> and sometimes yeah. you'll you'll make a point that you uh -huh. think is very very important uh -huh. and you want to know did it come across did they understand mm -hmm. this point mm -hmm. And uh, by reading their faces, mm -hmm. you, you tend to, to understand. Mm -hmm. So I've asked the, some of my staff, you know, did they get, are they discussing the point? They said, no, they're talking about where we're going to launch after, <laughs> after the meeting. <laughs> so, well, you cannot read uh, their facial expressions because Chinese people are not really, you know, uh, expressive like United States. Even though Dinin TV as the Silicon Valley Innovation Channel, uh, we started in Silicon Valley as a grassroots entrepreneurs here. Yes. Uh, we speak the same language, but we still s see the barrier for the, the language and uh, the mindset. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So can you give us an example, a story? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's see. Um, we did take some of the top entrepreneurs from here mm -hmm. to China to mm -hmm. open up operations and mm -hmm. to do joint ventures. And some of these uh, top entrepreneurs are from uh, the largest educational mm -hmm. uh, schools, the, the best schools, mm -hmm. the UC schools and Stanford and so forth from here. And those schools have some fairly good st strict structure around how they do business and what they're allowed to do and so mm -hmm. forth. So they're mostly focused on uh, joint research. They mm -hmm. want to do joint research and collaborative research and they find benefit there. Whereas in China, they do the joint research, but they also have a very strong commercialization side to their business, mm -hmm. which they s tend to think is equally important. And overcoming that barrier has been a, has been a real challenge. Um, and in some cases, it comes to a halt where you you just can't move forward because commercialization from universities in the United States is done completely differently than it is in China. Mm -hmm. And so that has to be uh, discussed and understood. Yeah, and also sometimes I, that's how I feel, you know, when they uh, come into Silicon Valley, many business, business leaders come to Silicon Valley and they want to visit the high-tech companies like, mm -hmm. you know, Google or Tesla or even Facebook and those companies. But actually, you know, uh, it's really difficult, right? <laughs> <laughs> the big company will see what's the purpose for this visit. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yes. And and China is so big, mm -hmm. and Silicon Valley is such a draw mm -hmm. that there's a lot of delegations mm -hmm. and a lot of activity mm -hmm. coming from China to understand mm -hmm. the innovation ecosystem and how these companies got to be so big. Mm -hmm. And also the top brand names that you're talking about mm -hmm. get called out a lot. The Googles mm -hmm. and the Teslas, uh, Facebook, mm -hmm. the Apple, they want to go see. Mm -hmm. And so our companies here get inundated and eventually they, they start to get very particular about who they meet and yes. what is the purpose of yes. the meeting. What's the purpose, yes. You know, and some of the very good ones have set up demonstration mm -hmm. centers mm -hmm. to, so that they can be polite mm -hmm. and give some benefit to mm -hmm. these delegates. But it's difficult to meet with the top executives unless mm -hmm. you're very specific about what the reason is and mm -hmm. why, you're, why you're here yes. and what would be the follow-up to the meeting. Yeah, that's, that's very important. That's just the, some of the examples. And also, also you see the, the, the difference between the 
West and Eastern culture, right? Yes, definitely. Yes. Like, uh, you know, people spend a lot of time and uh, build up the trust and relationship. Maybe on the, on the dinner, right? <laughs> yeah. I think one of the reasons that the council has been able to grow mm -hmm. and, and we're learning constantly about China mm -hmm. is that we are an old organization mm -hmm. with some very good name brands associated mm -hmm. with us and contacts of the government. But we've also been in China and mm -hmm. working with China for more than 10 years. I mm -hmm. think the first trip was in 2006. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's taken a while to build that trust. Mm -hmm. And in, you know, in Shanghai, we have a lot of trust mm -hmm. with, our, with the, the group that we work with there. Um, and even our board feels that, you know, what they say they're going to do, they're going to do, and there's this real understanding. Mm -hmm. But it took a long time You, to, you mentioned about there. Shanghai several times. So mm -hmm. what have you done right when you're building the relationship with, with Shanghai? The number one thing I think that we did right is, mm -hmm. uh, well, first, we were very lucky mm -hmm. that the, the government there recommended somebody for us to work with. Mm -hmm. And uh, that person is an employee of the Bay Area Council. Mm -hmm. But also that we trusted our employees in China. Mm -hmm. We listened to their advice mm -hmm. uh, around cultural mm -hmm. issues, what they think is actually being discussed and what mm -hmm. the interest level mm -hmm. is and what is happening in China. And mm -hmm. so that we are hitting on the right sort of threads and mm -hmm. themes um, as we're working with them. Uh, we've also trusted them quite a bit to make sure that we didn't, uh, to learn about the culture so that we don't embarrass top mm -hmm. leaders mm -hmm. when they come. Mm -hmm. The way we arrange meetings, mm -hmm. uh, the way that we, you know, we offer tea mm -hmm. and maybe some refreshment, mm -hmm. um, that we place the leader in the center of mm -hmm. the room, yes. uh, and that our top person in the room the is here. Person to talk. Right. Yes, so many things, yes. And those mm -hmm. sorts of subtleties really relax mm -hmm. um, both sides mm -hmm. and allow you to get to business mm -hmm. quickly. Because mm -hmm. uh, you don't normally have a lot of time mm -hmm. with these people. And if you want to discuss mm -hmm. something serious, mm -hmm. it's good to get everybody settled down mm -hmm. and comfortable so you can move forward. I see that even the Bay Area Council is the oldest organization, but this uh, not conservative, not, not so conservative. It's quite open, like what you said, right? <laughs> yeah, so yes, quite we open. We do some out-of-the-box thinking. <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. great, yes. Uh, well, thank you for listening, and uh, we're going to continue talking about so many issues about doing business in California and Silicon.